The following is an ESG on location video. Welcome to Vegas once more and VMworld 2016. As ever, when you've got 23,000 of your closest friends in one place, you've got all the razzmatazz, the parties, the glam, and the not so glam, it's not all fun here. But of course, alongside all that that just goes with one of these big events, you've also got a lot of serious things happening. As is usual in these videos, I'm gonna pass it to my colleagues to talk about some of the key takeaways they got uh, from the tactical perspective, the strategic perspective, from the channel perspective and others. But just one thing before I pass over to them. Very interesting, the theme of the conference here was B tomorrow, B underscore tomorrow as it happens. And it's just fascinating because the Dell and EMC, or if you like Dell, EMC, VMware, deal comes to fruition in just a few tomorrows from now. So it'll be interesting what impact that has on everything that we've heard here this week. But for now, over to my colleagues and then I'll wrap at the end of the video. Here at VMworld, we learned a new use case for VMware's NSX and network virtualization technology. In the past, micro-segmentation was a good use case that enabled the enterprises to get security based on network virtualization. Now we see a cross-cloud technology that allows you to bridge on-premises workloads with workloads that are running inside public clouds, whether it's in IBM, whether it's in AWS or Azure. So this is a way to extend the core technologies to enable companies to get security, as well as a way to bridge workloads running in a variety of places. I've been coming to VMworld now for 11 years, and I'll say one thing that really piqued my attention this year was how much of an industry show it's become. So in the past, it was really just around VMware in align to its messaging, but now we see vendors from everywhere focusing on things anywhere from cloud to mobility uh, and all the pieces in between. So from an attendee perspective, it's a great show to put on your list. From my coverage perspective, from an end user computing, I'd say the battlegrounds really become identity. So I think it's going to be interesting to watch closer what VMware is doing with identity, Microsoft, companies like Google with Okta, Ping, and others, is really we'll see the battleground going forward. And I think we just started to see this at this show, and we'll be looking forward to uh, covering it more over the next coming year. I did a presentation earlier today with uh, Dave Hitz and Dave Wright, the founders of uh, NetApp and SolidFire, and one of the, their comments from one of their customers was that storage is expensive. Why would you want to buy it in advance of needing it? And that's sort of a theme I'm seeing overall here at VMworld where uh, all of these things are very expensive, storage, compute, networking, and security. So we're moving from a land where you buy in advance, you buy huge monolithic items to a very fluid, very agile, very simple environment uh, that's on the fly, scalability, programmability, and uh, overcomes the people and process issue where that makes it difficult to get things going. Checking in from VMworld 2016 and the partner perspective. Yesterday's partner exchange was a, a rousing event and culminated with the uh, solutions exchange at the end of the day, which was rocking. This continues to be the leading event for partners that we see in the infrastructure world, and they were all there today. The vendors, the alliance partners, VARs, SIs, MSPs, and the uh, show floor was full right up to the closing. There was another fact that uh, really came out to me yesterday in the, in the meetings, and that was the continued evolution of what defines the partner of the future. And those partners of the future are increasingly being defined by bringing products to market, adding them into total solutions, and now increasingly adding recurring revenue and cloud solutions to their product mix. And VMware made announcements specifically designed to encourage and reward those partners for selling advanced products at higher margins as bundled into total solutions. That's a continued trend that we'll see evolve even more into the future. 
So thanks to my colleagues. What did we find out at this event? What will VMware, if you like, be tomorrow? I think I found an interesting inverse relationship at this show. There was less razzmatazz from the main stage presentations and so on, but I think actually there was probably more underlying implied content and value. What do I mean by that? So there were some glib but telling phrases used, things like uh, consumer simple but enterprise secure, sounds very compelling. You hear things like any app, any cloud, any, any device, all those sorts of things. They roll off the tongue and of course there's a lot underneath them, but here I think is the compelling point. VMware when it started was really about making many things out of one and it's expanded that over the years. What they really enforced and defined here more than anything is that they, by embracing heterogeneity and all these clouds and all these different platforms, are about making one thing out of many. And that is going to be really interesting as we look to tomorrow because Michael Dell may have bought him something that's a real jewel in the crown.